Hello, I'm Karine Laval. Thank you for joining me for a great escape in my small garden in Brooklyn, where I've been in confinement since March 5th. I love to travel and I'm often on the road for work or personal trips, so it's been unusual for me to stay in one place for so long. But this sudden forced pause has made me appreciate time, space, and the ordinary in new ways. I feel fortunate to have a terrace overlooking a small garden where I've been spending time whenever the weather permits. I've never had the opportunity to see spring unfold the way it did this year. Flowers and bushes came to life in slow motion and I've watched nature follow its course while our lives are on hold. There is an incredible variety of birds chirping and singing different melodies, which I hadn't noticed as intensely as I've noticed this spring, certainly because the roar of the city has fanned away. Sometimes I feel I'm transported into a tropical island or rainforest. This period of lockdown has been a productive time for my work. When I'm not in a contemplative mode, meditating on the power and beauty of nature from my terrace, I'm editing my forthcoming Steidl book, focused on the series Heterotopia, as well as preparing for a large-scale installation in the lobby of a new skyscraper in London. I've also been working virtually with composer and musician Aaron Kruzicki for a new LP project we started four years ago, inspired by my series Heterotopia. During this time of lockdown and introspection, It occurred to me that my work, and the series Heterotopia in particular, has some connection with what we're experiencing at the moment, being constrained into the limited realm of our homes. Although I usually get inspiration from the wider world, I often focus on contained and delineated spaces, such as swimming pools or small areas in a garden which I transform into fantastical and larger-than-life landscapes that exist only beyond our perception and in the images I create. This challenging experience has inspired me to see my own garden in a different way and to use it as a plein air studio for the first time. So in the spring, I started a new series in the garden while stuck at home. I feel for the time being, our only escape and way to cope with a feeling of imprisonment and anxiety might be to use the power of our imagination to push back the limits of our own confinement. I invite you to now discover this new series, which I called the great escape. Thank you. Enjoy and please stay safe and healthy.